Seven rebounds and five assists a game. Strong, smart defensive play. He's a key player for the Knights. Hillcrest with the basketball. Erke guarded by Van Campen. Comes right side to Kanine and Bell. Five to two. Knights lead it by three on our Park Region scoreboard. Frustel with it. Comets love to be patient. Swing the ball from side to side on offense. The ball goes for the steal. Almost gets it. Now they're going to call Brady with the personal foul. Yeah, as the ball at that time really made a nice, nice play, a good timing on it. Kind of coming from behind on the head turn uh, while the teammate was guarding the ball and almost made the pick. And uh, you like to have that kind of aggressiveness. Comets inbound to Preston to Kanina Belt on the short corner. He dribbles it back out. Now it comes to Erke. Way up top to Gabe Preston. High post area. It's Weirs. One dribble. Right elbow. Hands off to Kanina Belt. Slashing to the lane. Left hand layup. It is good. Nice quick move there by Kanina Belt. Right, and that started from top of the key, and uh, just uh, one dribble, basically a long step, and he was at the rim. In the post go the Knights. Paulson powers his way up, no good, and Zwiers gets the rebound for the Comets. West Central area leads 5-4 to four on our Park Region scoreboard. We're two minutes into the game. Frustel with it on the right side, catches and faces from 15 feet, takes a dribble, kicks it back out to Zwiers, and Preston, Kanina Belt drives left baseline, right to the hoop again. The Nine and Belt gets to the basket. The help was not there, and the Comets take their first lead. Yeah, and I think Coach Hunter is not real pleased with the last two possessions because the Comets went from the three-point line directly to the rim and scored on layups, and uh, I'm sure they'll adjust to that. Zabalik with the ball up top, guarded by Nine and Belt. That was the matchup we were expecting. Greg Preston, pregame interview, says he goes and gets the top player, one of the top players, or the top guard, and Zabalik. He has been playing very well for the Knights as Sabalik drives the lane and draws the foul as he was able to get free from Kanina Belt on that ball screen. And kind of the key to that for Sabalik was that he was patient. He uh, kept his dribble alive just to the right of the key and then came over the top off the ball screen, like you said, and then headed straight for the basket and drew contact. Free throw off the front of the rim, no good for Sabalik. And uh, that's been a rarity for uh, Brady. He's shooting 80% from the line. And second one in the air. This one's good. Four for Sabalik. We're all tied up six apiece on the Park Region scoreboard. Substitutions for the Knights into the game. Logan Nadwick and also is in is Jacob Bright. Now we've got some full court pressure from the Knights and looking to probably pick the tempo up just a little bit. Inbound, it's Kanina Belt. Double team bounces it over to Erke up the right side. Over to Kanina Belt. Preston, left wing to Zwiers. Up top, Kanina Belt with it. On the baseline, Frustel draws the foul as he goes towards the baseline. Hillcrest has really been quite aggressive going to the basket here. Um, more so than uh, I think we've seen them before, but in the early stages of this game, they're. Uh, Look to put it on the floor and getting to the basket on the dribble. Logan Paulson picked up his first team second. The two Knights that checked out was were Staples and Van Campen on that previous play. Six apiece is the score. Preston open for three right side. That's off the heel, no good. Rebound battle for it. It's going to be off of, oh, they're going to call a foul on Frustel. Trying to uh, reach around Paulson. And uh, the Knights will get the basketball. First foul on Frustel. Both teams with two team fouls here. 14.53 to go in the first half. We're all tied at six. Nadwick with it. Dribbles left. Now Sabalik left wing on the far side. Goes into the post. Paulson working against Frustel. Spinning to the left. Off the heel. No good. Rebound tipped around. Getting it. Anderson misses the shot. Zwiers tips it. And then it comes to Gabe Preston for the Comets. Preston. 
couple of point blank misses there for the Knights. Uh, they were just within two feet on a couple shots. Challenged, but uh, shots they feel they should have had, I'm sure. Zwier's in the post, back out to Erky. Shot fake, one dribble left to Nine and Belt. Off to Preston, right in front of Coach Hunter in the West Central area bench. And Nine and Belt, far side now. Fustel, right elbow. Zwier's, one dribble, one foot in the lane. Stripped away, stolen by Nadwick. Nadwick against Kaninabelt to the basket, layup is good. Nice play by Nadwick again. Just uh, like we talked about earlier, he came and uh, picked the ball from a ball handler who was being guarded by someone else, and that's a nice heads up defensive play. Knights regain the lead, it's eight to six. The pass into Frustel, tipped out of bounds by Paulson. And back into the game, Staples comes in. Paulson is out, Van Campen back in, and Ross Anderson comes out. And Einabelle inbounds on the far side. Comes to Erke. Erke working against Nadwick. Man-to-man -man defense. Pass. Preston couldn't handle it, and it goes right to Sabalek. Third Hillcrest turnover. The Knights have yet to turn it over here in the game. Yeah, it looked like Preston was kind of surprised on the catch there. It was a good zip pass, but one that he should have caught. Just fumbled it and lost control. Nadwick in the corner here now on the near side. In the post, it goes to Staples. Couple dribbles left. Scoops through a couple defenders. Bank shot too strong. Van Campen tips it, but it comes to Kanina Belt for the Comets. Right to left on the dribble. Going to the hoop. Kanina Belt trying to go coast to coast. Offensive foul. Jacob Wright, the sophomore, steps in and takes the charge. It's always my favorite play in the game, being able to step up and take a charge. That's always such a such a big momentum. Depends on what side of the play you're on, I guess. All right, yeah. That's the fourth turnover on the Comets, and Kanina Belt picks up his first third team foul. Nick Foss is in for Hillcrest. Thomas Weirs is also in as Preston and Zach Weirs come out. Sabalik with it. Knights leading by two in the post to Staples. Trying to get around Erky. Kicks it out Sabalik. Now Van Campen. Back to Sabalik on the right wing. One dribble into the post to Staples. Double team comes. Turnaround jumper in the lane. No good. Erky with a rebound. Pretty good defense there by the Comets. Yes it was. And uh, they did get the ball into the post but uh Really didn't have a good solid look at it. Zwiers, that's Thomas Zwiers, kicks it out to Nick Foss. In the post, Frustel, double team comes, almost stolen. Sander gets it back, Foss to Erke. Man-to-man -man defense for the Knights. Erke bounce pass over to Frustel. 12.40 to play, first half. West Central area, eight, Hillcrest six. Van Einenbelt, way up top near the midcourt circle to Nick Foss. Foss picks up his dribble to Van Einenbelt. Van Einenbelt driving. Down under the baseline, double team looking, dishes, Weirs mishandles a pass, now it's tipped away by Staples, and the Knights trying to get the steal, they do, good play there by Staples. Yeah, they're really good and aggressive coming uh, from the, the blind side, and uh, they, they picked up their defensive pressure too on their defensive end, getting in the face more of the comments. Sabalik penetrates Dish, nice pass to Staples underneath, tough reverse layup over the basket, no good. Erky hauls in the rebound for the comments. Here comes Foss, back to Erky. Right, right up by the volleyball line near the midcourt circle. Over to Foss. Under 12 minutes to play now in the first half. Frustel to Thomas Weirs in the post. Back to Frustel. Now is Weirs right wing to Foss. Over to Erke. Erke sweeps it in front of Van Campen. Comes to Thomas Weirs. Comets have shown this. They do not mind swinging the ball and taking long possessions. Foss though. On the drive, a nice little kiss off the glass from seven feet. That was very nice, very nice. High off the glass and softly. And he was out there probably at about uh, 10 feet when he released that. Tied up at 8, 11.20 to play. First half, Jacob Bright with it, guarded by Foss. One dribble, goes to Staples. They show a double team, now they retreat. Come back up top to Bright. Right, couple dribbles to his right now. Sabalik open for three right wing. It's good. Brady Sabalik, a pair of threes. He's got seven. And it's 11 to eight. West Central leads it by three. Just under 11 minutes to play first half. He looks confident shooting the ball, yeah. that's for sure. And uh, West Central had a little run and jump there that we just saw for the first time tonight. About a mid-court. Didn't finish the trap, uh, but retreated quickly. Nice pass underneath by Frustel to the slashing Kaninabelt, and Eric finishes six for Kaninabelt to leave the Comets. 11 to 10. Sabalik on the drive, and his pass is not able to be caught by Staples. It goes out of bounds. That's the first night turnover here, uh, seven and a half minutes into the game. And Sabalik, uh, you know, he hit that three here just recently, and that proves out the Scotty report that uh, you've got to give him a lot of attention, and uh, 
You almost got to get up on top of him so that he can't lift the ball up for his jumper and challenge him that much. Comets come with three new players as the Comets break the press into the front court. Frustel finishes. Nice pass from Zwiers. And Frustel with his first basket. That was Zach Zwiers who just came in delivering the pass. Micah Foss and Gabe Preston back in as Erky Kaninenbelt and Thomas Zwiers come out. You just have to give that up to Frustel. He's just too big for anybody out there in the West Central team. And you have to concede that because he got in so close, so tight, and it was an easy play for him. Old-fashioned three-point play gives the Comets the lead back at 13-11. to 11. The Knights made some substitutions as well as there's going to be a foul. We'll catch you up with those in just a moment. There's a push in the back on Gabe Preston. That's Gabe's first team fourth. Yeah, the, the, uh, the Knights already have gone uh, nine deep, so they're using their bench extensively, and uh, it's good to see. Nice pass by Sabalik right to Paulson underneath for the easy layup. We're all tied up here again at 13. And Micah Foss now into the front court, and he traveled with it. He left his feet under some pressure, and uh, the passing lane was cut off and landed before he was able to deliver the pass. Sixth comma turn. The Knights currently in the line. Their lineup right now is Jacob Wright, Ross Anderson, Nathan Kay in for the first time, Paulson and Ladwick. Paulson right to the hoop, off the pass from Ladwick. Gets the basket, he draws the foul. Good, strong move by Logan Paulson. Yeah, at that time in the inbounds, they just posted Paulson up and kind of spread everybody else out so it was really clear. Tossed the ball to the inside and he had uh, just a one-on-one -on -one move with his right hand going to the basket. Free throw by Paulson is good. 16 to 13. West Central area gets the lead back on our Park Region scoreboard. 9.55 to go, double dribble called on Foss on the far side. I didn't quite see that little uh, too many bodies in front of me, but Foss called for the double dribble. And uh, West Central now is really exerting some pressure. You know, kind of a three-quarter court, trying to pressure the ball, and then they send a teammate rushing the ball on a run and jump. And they've caused turnovers now a couple of times, so it's having an effect on the Comets. Erke checks back in, Nick Foss comes out, the Knights with the ball, it's Kay, bounces it to Paulson, faces the hoop, back out to Kay, right side to Anderson, guarded by Zach Zwiers in the lane, skips it across, Kay wants three, he can shoot it, in and out, no good, Zwiers with Ebron inside rebound position, but it's tipped from behind by Anderson, off of Zwiers' hands, and the Knights will keep it. There's Ross Anderson making one of those scrappy plays we've seen him make. Yeah, and uh, that was a good call by the official. I tell you what, Jason, the West Central Knights are going to keep you busy tonight with the substitutions. Yeah, we're not going to be able to keep up with all of them. They, they came in with a couple more here that we will try to catch you up on as the inbound. Nice pass on the inbound. Nadwick finds Staples, and Staples gets his first basket of the game, and, and it's a five-point night lead. That's the second time now on inbounds plays that uh, the Knights have scored, so they've done a great job with that. Pass inside is Weirs, and there's going to be a foul on West Central area. That's going to be the fifth team foul. Excuse me, the fourth team foul, and that is Sabalik picking up the foul, his second. So Sabalik with two, he'll come out. Anderson back in. Zach Weirs is out. And Inabel, or excuse me, Thomas Weirs is back in. They inbound to Frustel, guarded by Logan Paulson. One dribble left, comes to Erke. Now Thomas Weirs. Weirs in the middle, his pass to Preston tipped away and stolen by Staples. Eight Comet turnovers, only one for the Knights. Nice pass underneath, Nadwick to Paulson, doesn't finish. The imposing size of Frustel maybe got in his way a little bit. Comets get the rebound and Greg Preston wants a timeout. I like the timeout. A uh, little bit of a run here for the Knights. And uh, they've been getting inside and giving up some stuff and then turning it over in offense. Good time for a timeout. Well, if you're looking for great day trip and tour ideas, call Otter Tail Coaches and let their ABA certified travel industry specialist help plan your next group tour. Group travel is their specialty.
defense, but uh, recently now they've extended it out towards the mid-court area. Now they're picking up full court man-to-man, -man, and they look to run and jump and, and uh, keep uh, trying to force turnovers on the Comets. Inbounds comes to Preston, over to Thomas Weirs, back to Preston. It's Frustel to Ninenbelt. Thomas Weirs gave Preston Sam Erke for the Comets. And the Knights with Staples, Anderson, Logan Paulson, Nadwick, and Nathan Kay. Pass tipped out of bounds by the Knights. It'll stay with Hillcrest. Now it'll be Jack Van Campen, 6'4 sophomore, back into the game. And Nathan Kay comes out. And Kanina Bell will throw it in on the near side. Comes into Preston. Eight and a half minutes to play, first half. West Central area 18, Hillcrest 13 on our Park Region scoreboard. Kanina Bell with it. Right wing, Nadwick's on him. Man to man defense for the Knights. Zwier's left wing, back to Erke. Over to Kanina Belt. Frustel on the right side. Up to Preston, working against Anderson. Now it's Zwier's. Erke curls the cut into the lane, double team. Looks back out to Eric Kanina Belt. Kanina Belt to the baseline. That's been their best offense yeah. as he lays it right in. Eight for Eric Kanina Belt, slashing to the basket. Right hand drive on the baseline and finished with his left hand. And very it really was a nice left hand finish. 18-15, yes. it's a three point night lead. Comet's showing a different look here now on the defensive side. Across the way goes Van Camp and wants three. Off the rim, no good. Weak side rebound comes to Preston. I'll let the Erke. Here comes Hillcrest. Kanina Belt slashing to the hoop. His shot is blocked. He gets his own rebound. It comes back out to Preston. Kanina Belt for three in the corner. Off the rim, no good. And the rebound is cracked down near the corner by Ross Anderson. And the Knights will walk it into the front court. Goes underneath, nice pass, Staples goes up, draws the foul, give Anderson credit for finding Staples in the soft spot. Now coming out of that timeout, uh, Hillcrest, when they scored, they set up in a little half court, just beyond half court, one, two, two, it almost looked like, trying to trap themselves. And that's a really nice, as the free throw is missed, a nice move by uh, Coach Preston in the Comets, just to try and change their own tempo and how they think about themselves and uh, getting to be more aggressive, and uh, I like that move. Kay is in, Nadwick is out for the Knights. First free throw by Staples, no good. Second one is good, 19-15. Knights lead it by four. And Erke has the ball. Working against Van Campen. Across the timeline to Zach Weirs over to Preston in the far corner. Preston, the Comets' leading scorer, has not scored. He hasn't got much for looks here tonight. And Ina Belt, left to right, on the dribble. Now it's over to Preston on the far side. Under seven minutes to play first half. Frustel for three, he misses everything. Zwiers tried to save it, but he could not. And the Knights will get the ball. Yeah, the main offense that Hillcrest has had tonight has been drive to the basket. That's where they've been the best. Here's that 1-2-2 two, two again for Hillcrest. Preston at the top of the 1-2-2. Two, two. They're gonna look to trap over the mid court line. And if they had the opportunity on the sideline, it wasn't there as the Knights now Working against the zone. The jumper in the lane, just outside the lane for Staples is good from about 12 feet. And it's five for Staples. Biggest lead of the game for West Central area so far, 21 to 15. 620 to play, first half. And Ina Bell with it, right wing. Goes on the drive to the baseline. Double team comes and he threw it to Frustel way behind him. Sander cut left. It was deflected though. Craig Hunter questioning that one. And both officials talk it over. Yeah, it is going to go to the Knights. I think that was the proper call. And it's the ninth Hillcrest turnover. 6.14 to go. In the first half, Comets 1-2-2, two, two, three-quarter court press. It goes to K on the left wing. Just inside the arc, picks up his dribble. Paulson in the middle, 10-footer off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, loose ball, and Eric Kaninabelt picks it up for the Comets. Here comes Kaninabelt, goes up, and he draws the foul, going hard to the basket, and Ross Anderson is going to be called for the block. There's a play that many people will think, boy, that sure looked like a charge, but it was a good call. He was slightly moving, and uh, uh, once again, the whole Hillcrest office has been, offense has been going to the basket with nothing else in terms of perimeter or in the lane jumpers or anything. It's all been to the basket. First free throw by Kaninabelt is no good. Bright checks in. K comes out. 
Penina Belt is a 59% free throw shooter on the season. He averages eight points per game. He's already matched that. The second one is off the heel, no good. And Paulson, Logan with the rebound for West Central area. Ross Anderson walks it into the front court. Now it's a man-to-man -man defense here for the Comets. Driving left side, Anderson skips it all the way across. Bright wants three, that's good. Boy, that was a nice pass by Anderson. I didn't know if he'd see his teammate across court, but uh, took a drive and kicked it over, and just a nice looking three. Coach Preston wants a timeout, and we'll take a quick timeout as well. 24-15, Knights have opened up a lead. We'll be back with more in 30 seconds. Timeout, Hillcrest has the basketball. 24-15, West Central's open up a nine point lead here on our Park Region scoreboard. Canine and Bell right side, right elbow comes to Frustel. Man-to-man -man defense for the Knights. Frustel spins in the lane, comes out to Zach Zwiers. In the post, Van Campen tips it away. It goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Hillcrest. Right now the difference in this, this ball game certainly has been the Knights defense. And uh, they've played it very well, very aggressively. Like to contain that drive to the basket, I'm sure, but they've really been after the ball. Preston's backdoor pass tip, but Erkey gets it, recovers just in time to draw the foul. And Sam will go to the line to shoot two. The foul's going to be on Logan Paulson. That's his second, so the Knights got to be careful with a couple of their top players. Logan Paulson with two, Sabalik with two. And Erkey to the line, looking for his first point. It's up and good. Sam Erke, a 70% free throw shooter on the year, averaging seven points per game. We'll uh, see now uh, what defense uh, Hillcrest is in after that timeout. It looks like they have been going when they score that one, two, two, three quarter court press trap. And if they miss, they look like they're dropping into a man to man. Erke makes the second one as Micah Foss checks in for Zach's Weirs. Comments are gonna match up here now out of the half court. Man to man, Anderson with it. Dribbling to his right, working against Erke, picks it up, goes to Logan Paulson. Right wing, it's right. Micah Foss is on him. One dribble, picks up his dribble, comes to Staples. In the post, Paulson faces the hoop, kicks it back out to Bright. Bright moving left, and there's a moving screen yeah. on Paulson, and that's a big one. That's his third yeah. foul. Yeah, I think we see another adjustment here that Coach Preston has made. They went out of their little trap after the main free throw. We are seeing right now more pressure extended on the ball and more aggressiveness from Hillcrest going out and trying to attack beyond the three-point line defensively than we've seen the whole game. They foul third for Logan Paulson as he comes out of the game. Hillcrest with the ball, trailing by seven. Preston up top, Kaninabelt wants three, it's good. Great game Eric Kaninabelt is having as he is now in double figures and leads all scores with 11. Much needed for the much needed for the comments, a three-point drop. The first three Hillcrest has tonight. 420 to play, first half. 24-20, West Central Area by four. Anderson's on the far side, guarded by Sam Erke. Slashing staples to the basket, doesn't get the roll. Brustel with a rebound for Hillcrest. Erke quickly up the right side, right to left on the dribble. Preston, Penina Belt. On the left wing, back to Gabe Preston. Sander Frustel with it. Micah Foss. Over to Erke, he's on the right side. Under four minutes to play now in the first half. Foss receives the bounce pass, ball screen moving to his left. And Micah, nice pass, backdoor cut. Erke dishes to Kanina Belt. One dribble, double clutches, misses the shot, partially blocked. The ball is loose on the floor, it's gonna be a jump ball. And possession arrow will stay with Hillcrest. Well, tag up by Richard Marketing, producer of bag tags, custom graphics, and trophies for team sports. The tag that's been where every athlete wants to go, that's tag up by Richard Marketing, Fergus Falls. Van Campen back in for West Central Area as there's going to be a five-second count here on 
the Comets as Kanainenbel could not find anyone. Turnover number 10 for Hillcrest. And West Central will get the ball back, leading by four. 3.35 to play, first half. Anderson, bounce pass left wing, it's Van Campen. Swings it to Staples, now Anderson with it. Over to Bright, shot fake, couple dribbles back to Anderson. He'll shoot the three off the front of the rim, no good. And Van Campen tries to save it, couldn't get there in time, and the Comets will get it. Once again, the Knights are picking the Comets up full court here, trying to continue putting pressure on them defensively. Then Inabel takes the inbound, double team briefly. It goes to Erke. Right now, Paulson on the bench with three fouls. Sabalik, Craig Hunter preserving Sabalik as well on the bench with two fouls. Sandra Frusel on the drive, goes up and draws the foul as he turned the corner on the drive and he'll shoot two. I, mean, I think probably the comments would like to see Fustal uh, maybe be looking to the basket a little bit more, looking to score and putting some moves on and uh, uh, trying to get at the rim some, and that would be a good, good offensive uh, adjustment for them at this point. First free throw is no good by Fustal. K is back in, Wright is out. Wright was the knight that picked up the foul, his first. Second one by Frustel in the air. That's off the heel, no good. Comet's struggling from the line here. Frustel's now one for three from the line. And the Knights have the ball. Bounce pass underneath. Anderson Nadwick. Comet's a little bit behind there, getting matched up defensively. Nice entry pass, a bounce pass. Only place the bounce pass is any good from perimeter into the post, and that was a beauty. 26-20, West Central area with the lead. 2.40 first half. Kanina Belt on a slash cut, bounces it to Frustel, spins in the lane, little fadeaway four-footer, it's short, and Staples with a rebound. Great look. Yeah. Just couldn't get it to go. And that's what they need to do. He needs to take, uh, keep taking those looks and use his size. Nadwick in the post, dishes, little 10-footer Staples off the heel, no good. Nadwick with the old board right back up and in. He's able to snatch it away from Frustel. And he's got six, eight point West Central lead. Through still breaking the press over to Kanina Belt. Thinks about the three. Nick Foss is in the game. He has the ball now to Preston. Couple dribbles to his right. Goes Gabe Preston, Frustel to Kanina Belt. Kanina Belt left hand drive to the basket. Goes up, he draws the foul. Kanina Belt and his penetration has been the instant yeah. offense for the Comets. He sure has. And, uh, he's coming on transition, even in full court. You've got to contain him because he's probably going to go right to the hoop and try and make something happen, which is exactly what they need to do because their half-court offense, they've struggled just a little bit on that. Free throw by Kanineveld is good. Jack Van Campen picks up his second team knife. Zach Weirs returns for Hillcrest. Frustel comes out. And Kanineveld's second free throw off the heel, no good. Weirs with a rebound, though, goes right back up, misses it. And Staples comes down with the rebound for West Central area. Anderson bounce pass, goes to Kay. Now Anderson underneath Staples. Couple dribbles going against Foss. Nice win, pivot, got around the man and finished. Yeah. He held, held the ball, kind of looked to his left and then pivoted and instead of going straight up, kind of ducked under and made the move. Nice move. Knights match their biggest lead, 30 to 21. Staples now with seven. Micah Foss on the drive, shot fake, double team strip. And it comes to Anderson, jump ball. And the Knights will have possession on the uh, arrow. 11th Hillcrest turnover. Erke is in. Micah Foss will come out. 126 to play. First half. We'll call your Culligan man in Elbow Lake and Fergus Falls and get the facts about Culligan's proven ion exchange technology. Better water, pure and simple. That's Culligan. Knights turn it over. Went off of Van Campen's hands and Preston picked it up. Only the third night turnover in the first half. Foss to, to Gabe Preston. In the middle, Zwiers. Across to Kanina Belt. 18 foot of right side. Off the heel, no good. A long rebound comes to Nathan K for the Knights. One minute to play in the first half. Knights with a nine point lead. Staples guarded by Erke. Just inside the arc on the left side. Back out to Van Campen. Van Campen guarded by Gabe Preston. Gets a ball screen. He's moving right. Swings it over to Nadwick. Now K, ball screen moving left, pick and roll with Nadwick. He swings it over to Staples. Now Anderson with it. 33 seconds to play in the half. Lob pass underneath. Staples goes up strong, left hand layup, no good. Rebound tipped around. K comes up with it. 
He dishes to Van Campen, who hands it off to Nedwick. Layup good. It did look pretty for a no. while, but it ended up good for the Knights. Not how you draw it up. Kind of a hot potato there, but uh, they ended up scoring. And the Comets turn it over again as the Knights get some pressure on Hillcrest. Eight seconds to go. Van Campen up top to Nedwick. Goes to Anderson. A couple dribbles left. A lot pass underneath Staples. Two seconds. Layup is good. He draws the foul. And talk about your perfect <laughs> execution to end the half. That was a great pass from uh, beyond the top of the key. Kind of had a poor angle, too. He had to throw it just a little bit to the left of the basket. And a great catch and a great finish. I think that was Ross. I think that was Anderson again on the pass. Another nice pass. Free throw is good by Staples. And it's just like that, a 14-point night lead. And the Comets inbound, and that will end the half. And the Knights end the half on a 11 to 1 run to take a 35 21 lead on our park region service beyond the connection scoreboard we're going to take a break we'll have some analysis when we come back also have some numbers for you as well west central area 35 hillcrest 21 we'll be back with a halftime report in two minutes i know that you love it you love to get out there and shoot some three pointers they got the soda bottles out already. You can pay this young lady right here. She's got the, the uh, envelope. This is a fundraiser again, just so you know, for our Dominican Republic trip that we take every spring. I want to tell you that last game, we actually uh, made more money than uh, any other game this season. Let's try to beat that tonight. We made $156 last time. Let's try to beat that, and if there's anybody that would like to match the funds, we did have somebody to match the funds last time, that would be great. We wound up with $312, it cost you a dollar to shoot, and if you make it, you win one of those two leaders. It's also a great opportunity for you to get uh, somebody else on the court. If you don't want to shoot the shot, pay for somebody else to come on down, or pay for 10 people to come on down. Uh, our guests from West Central, thank you for coming tonight. You guys are welcome to shoot along with us. Let's get the uh, party going here. Let's go. Again, we are sponsoring. We are sponsoring a school in the Dominican Republic who struggles financially. Obviously, they uh, they aren't exactly. They don't exactly have the bankroll that a lot of American schools have. We are trying to raise twenty five hundred dollars this year to go toward some science laboratory equipment. So come on people, let's get going. Be generous tonight. We try to get this place hopping with a lot of shooting, so let's get going. Don't be bashful out there. Why don't you sign somebody else up? Designate some funds for somebody else to shoot. If you don't want to get out here and shoot, come on out and uh, pay for somebody else. Let me know who it is, I'll call them out. And once you uh, ask some pace for somebody, they can't deny it. They got to come out and shoot. Come on, we got a pretty big crowd here tonight. We're a little bit slow. Let's get going here. Again, I'm going to remind you, this is a fundraiser. I know that we ask you every night to do it, but this is a great cause, a great way to spend just a few dollars on uh, on shooting, having a little bit of fun. Look at this guy. This guy went too. Better. So come on down, you can sponsor. Secret, Helen, come on out. You've been sponsored to you gotta shoot a three pointer. Four guests from West Central. This guy just paid for four of you to shoot. So I need four people from West Central. The first four, come on out. The first four. There you go. One, two, three, and one more from West Central. Come on. There it is, four. That's a gift from a little guy on the little press side there. So come on out, everybody. Sponsor a bunch of other people who are sitting in the crowd. They're all being lazy tonight. Look at them all out there. Pick somebody out, pick them, get them out here. Or get 20 of them out. There's no need 20 bucks or something like that. Come on. We got about three more minutes to shoot. Let's go, let's go. Be quick with them shots. There's the president. 
Good shot there, Steve. I saw that. There you go, Chris. Okay, it's time to do these. We have four people. Laura Thompson. Come on out, Laura. Ruby, right next to Let's go. You're out too. Laura and Ruby, let's go. This is actually fun. Sponsor someone else's shoot. We kind of get a kick out of this. And Mariah and John Jewell. Come on out. You guys too. Good sponsor. Both Mariah and John. Well, what do you got for us? Charlie Brew, Lowell's two brothers got me out of here, and Paul and you too. Charlie Brew, you're with the uh, Quam crew today. You guys can line out and shoot. Again, I'm going to offer the opportunity for you to sponsor or to match our fun tonight. Karina Larson, you've been sponsored. Karina, come on out. If you'd like to match the funds that we made tonight, see me later on. We would greatly appreciate it. Again, this is a, this is a great cause. Our Dominican Republic trip, we try to raise funds for the school down there. There you go, Laura. We have sink it. I saw that. Karina matched that job. Let's go. Let's see what these pop boys are doing at the end here. Let's see. There you go. Oh, Lowell got one too. All right, at least two out of the five got it there. Charlie, you're making one. All right. Charlie Brew missed his three pointer, but I saw him dunk it earlier. He was dunking through reverse dunks and everything. A couple more shots here, and then we got the teams coming out. Anybody else? Last minute shot here. Anybody? Sponsor somebody else? Hey, please, I got a few bucks up here for you. Alright, looks like those guys are done. We got four bottles left and no team is coming out. Anybody else? Everybody, thank you very much. We appreciate your sponsorship, your support, your partnership there. So, uh, again, remember our team that goes down to the DR. Remember them in prayer. And that uh, the gospel message would be clearly spoken down there to the people that we are, and we would care about them. Thank you. Yes. West Central area. Gabe Preston on the drive. Nice bounce pass. Easy layup for Zwiers. Uh, wide open Zwiers that time. Preston had the left hand dribble on the left hand side of the 
basket and a quick bounce pass and uh, easy shot. And Campen hits the three off the skip pass from Anderson. And uh, Jack, he's been uh, he's been hot lately coming in. Hasn't had a lot of looks today, but knocked down that three. Van Campen with the steal, but immediately went over and back. He kind of caught it on an awkward spot in the floor right near the midcourt line. Yeah, his momentum carried him over the line, and that's a tough turnover to, to give Van Kempen there because, uh, you know, I guess we'd be tempted not even to give it to him. I'm not going to give him one, yeah. No. Yeah, it's not really, uh, he made the steal, but he was moving to the backcourt at the same time. So. He hadn't completed the football play, as they right, say. Right, right. right. That's confusing that is. Yeah. <laughs> 40 to 23 is the score, and we have a timeout here on the floor. We'll talk about one of our sponsors, Elbow Lake Co-op and Grain. Talk to Elbow Lake Co-op and Grain for strong, or excuse me, for storing, buying, and selling grain. With the largest storage space in the area and the location on the railroad, we will receive good prices and storage space. Check them out at Elbow Lake Co-op Grain. Autofield Coach is another one of our sponsors. If you're looking for great day trip and tour ideas, call Autofield Coaches and let the ABA certified travel industry specialist help plan your life through tour. Group travel is their specialty. We could drive the Autofield Coaches specialist in the transportation of students, tours, and No, we've seen Hillcrest mix up defenses here. I'd expect that probably to just stand there basic man to man and say, let's see if we can get some stops and close this gap. And I would guess uh, West Central is going to say, hey, let's see if we can put more distance on this and come out and keep the pressure on with some full court pressure and uh, go with what got us to where we are so far. Hillcrest with the ball. It never caught us up on the Knights lineup coming out half. It's Van Campen, Sabalik, Logan Paulson, Staples, and Anderson. Knights in a man-to-man -man defense. 16-20 to go in the game. 40-23, West Central Area with the lead. Crystal, Preston, Weir's right wing. Comets seem to be a little bit more crisp and moving uh, quicker here coming out of that timeout. Underneath, lob pass, Weir's to Frustel, goes right up, a little jump hook yeah. is good. Nice, nice shot, nice pass that came directly in from the top of the key. Fustel had his man sealed, and just a little jump hook from about three, four feet. 1-1-2-1, one, 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 three-quarter court. Sabal breaks it, dishes to Staples, who gets the basket. 14 now for Staples to lead all scores. 42-25, Knights by 17. Frustel up the right side. Goes back to Perky. Some pressure exerted by the Knights, but now they're back into a man-to-man. -man. Kanina Bell right baseline, goes under, bounce pass Weirs. Up top to Erky. Erky sweeps in front of his man, bounce pass into Frustel. Moves to his right, goes for the tough reverse layup off the top of the backboard, no good. Paulson with a rebound for West Central Area. Outlet to Zabalik, dribbles up the left side. Now penetrating in the lane across Van Campen, open for three, nothing but net. And he was shooting it so well, Van Campen was the last ball game, and now he's getting on track the second half, and Hillcrest has to know where he's at. Knights by 20, Frustel turns it over, steal for Paulson. Here comes Anderson. Anderson lobs it across to Van Campen, to the baseline Staples. Now to Paulson, nice pass, goes up, blocked by Erke, and it's recovered by Erke. Here comes Sam, nice pass up the way to Zwiers, layup a little too strong, missed opportunity there, and Sabalik with the rebound. What a early second half Sabalik has had, passing the ball here, delivering to his teammates. Three assists here already, three minutes into the second half, and it looks like, is there going to be a moving screen called, or? No, no it's going to be... It's going to be a push off on the Comets. And that's going to be on Zach's Weirs. Comets have to be pretty careful here on this end out now. The Knights have been very successful in, in scoring uh, and executing their end outs and uh, have to cover up, especially close to the basket. They're setting up four people right down on the baseline and uh, be some pick exchange here. Colton Wutzke and Nadwick are in for the Knights as Paulson and Van Campen come out. Nice pass underneath. Staples gathers. A little too hard. Rebound comes to Wutzke. Kicks it out. Sabala three-pointer no good. And Kaninebelt with a rebound for the Comets. Eric over to Preston up top to Frustel. 45-25. West Central with a big lead here. Thomas Weir's now in the game. Goes to Frustel in the post. Double team back out. Thomas Weir's is in. Zach Weir's is in. Micah Foss is in. And Sam Erke is out. Foss with it. Goes to Preston. Kaninebelt right wing in front of his own bench. Left to right. Goes on the drive. The double team comes, the help comes out to Preston, over to Foss. Micah back to Preston. 
Now Kanina Bell, one dribble left, over to Fox, working against Nadwick. Comes to Zwiers, over in the corner, it's Kanina Bell. He wants three, off the heel, no good. Long rebound comes to Sabalik. Knights fans appreciating the defensive effort there. And Sabalik over to Anderson. Ball screen moving left to Staples, top of the key area. Back to Anderson. His back heel on the midcourt circle goes to Sabalik. Up top, Nadwick with it. Right side. Watsky lobs in. Staples weaves through a couple guys and scores. And Staples, he's, he's kind of, he can uh, mold his body in ways that he likes to, to, to get some hoops quickly up the floor. Nice pass by Kanaimenbelt yep. to Frusco for the layup as the Comets break the press. Yep, they were in the press once again. And, and uh, just the penetration by Kanaimenbelt once again made the difference. 47-27 is the score. Knights lead it. Nadwick, lob pass underneath Staples. One dribble. Gathers goes up. Doesn't get the roll. That almost curled in, but he draws the foul. And Staples will shoot two. Another nice pass by Logan Nadwick. So the foul is on Eric Kaninenbelt, his second, team second. And Staples free throws in the air. It's good. 17 for Dawson Staples. He's now three for four from the line. During the season coming into the game, he had just 12 a game, and he was a 54% free throw shooter. Sabalik comes out, Bright is in. Second one is good. And Logan Paulson is back in as Staples will get a break. Kay is in as well. As the Comets working against the press. 49-27, crucial tough off balance shot. No good, and going right to the floor, getting the rebound is Nadwick, and he is fouled. That's one you're glad yeah. to see him pop up quickly after that right. one. Right, and Fustal took a drive into the lane, and there was contact there, and he got hit pretty hard on the body, but didn't get the call, so he was falling backwards and kind of had to throw it up off balance, and uh, made it a tough shot. Thomas Weirs picks up his second foul. Comet's showing his own press. The Knights are able to break it. They're now into the front court. The steel press matches up. Jacob Bright has it. 12.35 to play in the game. Knights lead it by 22, 49-27. Law pass underneath, tipped by Kanainabel. It comes back out to Nadwick, though. It now goes to Bright. Left side, Kay is open for three. That's good. Nathan Kay with his first basket. And it's 52 to 27. Yeah. Right now with this lead, the Knights are really playing loose and easy and uh, that can only mean trouble for the Comets because uh, they're taking shots, they're getting inside, they're making perimeter shots and pretty well balanced. Frustal dishes Preston 17 footer, no good. Logan Paulson with a rebound. Hands it off to Nadwick, under 12 minutes to play in the game. Right side, it goes to Kay. Up top now, Wetzky with it. Jacob Wright dribbles to his right. Hands it off to Paulson, now goes to Kay. And a man defense for Hillcrest. The tough thing for the Comets, too, trying to make a comeback to get back into their offense isn't, isn't usually a built for quick runs to get uh, back in it. As Paulson draws the foul, pivoting to the basket. He'll go to the line to shoot, too. Yes, and in addition, their offense has not been efficient tonight just in terms of uh, hitting perimeter shots. The uh, Knights have really done a good job on Mr. Preston out there, who is their best three-point shooter. And uh, you shut that down. And uh, they haven't, uh, they've been doing, Knights have done a good job of recovering on the weak side as the ball swings for the Comets. Comets have swung it, but uh, Knights have been there to cover up and take away any good looks. Free throw by Paulson, good. The foul is on Thomas Weirs. Sabalik is back in. Nadwick comes out. Second one is no good. Then Einabelt with a rebound. Up the floor to Foss. Shot fake. Dishes his pass deflected as he tried to get it to Zwier, stolen by K. 13 kill press turnover. The Knights have not turned it over here in the second half as of yet. Sabalik between the legs on the dribble. Over to K in the post it goes. Baseline jumper, Wetzky off the front of the rim, no good. Frustel with a rebound. That's a good point you made too. Preston hasn't scored tonight and Frustel only with uh, seven and the Comets need those two guys scoring to keep up with a hot team like the Knights. Gabe Preston has it, right side, bounce pass to Kanainabelt, couple dribbles, gathers, looking, trying to work his way up, blocked by Paulson, rebounded by Paulson. Really nowhere to go for Kanainabelt there. Might as well shoot it. Sabalik now to Paulson. High post area, lobs it on the baseline to Kay, steps back, 18 footer, 
Off the front of the rim and in. Get off the front of the rim and I got the roll. Give Paulson the assist. K now with five and it's 55 to 27. West Central opening up a big lead. Crystal Preston to Kanina Belt. Foss with it, off to Kanina Belt again. One dribble over to Frustal in the far corner. Man to man defense for West Central area comes to Foss. Frustal curling to the hoop, little eight footer off the heel, no good. Paulson with a rebound for the Knights. He's controlling the board here in the second half. As Sabalik, back to Paulson, top of the key, lobs it across the way. K with it. K to Sabalik, guarded by Eric Kanina Belt. Right. High post, Wutzke, lob pass, high low, nice pass. Paulson gathers, goes up, gets the basket, draws the foul. And that was execution there by the Knights. Nice high low pass from Wutzke. Yeah, they've had about uh, three of those that have been really nice looks. And uh, they know what they're doing there because they're pretty consistent. Catch the ball on the high post and they seal down low and lob up over the top of the defense and a nice catch and a finish. 57-27 is the score. West Central leading Big Anderson back in as Kay comes out. Kay hit a couple nice shots for the Knights. Free throws good by Paulson. And as you might expect, uh, as we have a timeout here, uh, the Comets have lost some of their defensive aggressiveness, and when you're down so many points, that's uh, you know, kind of understandable. Timeout here on the floor. Greg Preston wants a timeout. It's going to be a short timeout, so we will keep it right here. The team at Cross Country Construction is a proud sponsor of West Central Area Schools. Cross Country Construction of Elbow Lake salutes the Knights' teamwork and dedication. That's Cross Country Construction of Elbow Lake. And then Tag Up by Richard Marketing, producer of bag tags, custom graphics, and trophies for team sports. The tag that's been where every athlete wants to go, it's Tag Up by Richard Marketing. You know, Jason, I think uh, the score was a four point spread at one point, 24 20. Yeah. Pretty late, pretty late in the second half. Yeah, and. Uh, that's seven points for Hillcrest, and uh, what does that make it? 30, how many? Yeah, that would make it a 34 to 7 run for yeah. the Knights. Yep. Yeah, it's just been a tsunami here for the, the Knights have put on here. And we mentioned they've been on fire shooting the ball coming in, and they continue that as Hillcrest with the ball into the game for the first time for the Comets, not on the varsity roster and not on the not on the JV roster. We're going to have to try track down a number there. Knights with the steal. Sabalik up the floor and stepping out of bounds was Van Campen after he received the pass. And you, you mentioned about uh, uh, how they've shot the ball. And they, you can see that more in the second half, probably because we remember Van Campen. They've had a couple in the first half. But they've had a balance. They've gone inside. they got the high-low game going. They're penetrating and dishing, and uh, everything's going right. Sabalik with the foul on the backcourt. We're trying to track down one of the numbers here for the one of the players for the Comets. We don't have a number. We'll get it here in just a moment. Hillcrest with the inbound. Nick Foss in the game. Also in Jay Sow is in the game for the first time for the Comets as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. Joel Quam was the number 10 in the game. Van Campen with the steal. Gets to the hoop. Gets the basket and he draws the foul. Another Hillcrest turnover and that led to a great opportunity for Van Campen. I can't pass this up, Jace. Uh, uh, younger Van Campen is quite a bit quicker than his dad, Van Campen, who played for me. <laughs> and I must say, and I hope someone carries that message to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that <laughs> that will happen. Yeah, he got to see your former player yep. before the game. Great to see great, him. Great to see his son. Him, yeah. yeah. Free throw off the heel, no good by Jack. And Kanina Bell with the rebound. Kanina Bell right to left on the dribble on the far side. 60 to 27. Knights in total control. It's Micah Foss, Thomas Weirs, Preston Frustal, Kanina Bell for Hillcrest. Gabe Preston, a couple dribbles up top over to Kanina Bell. Off to Foss, loses it for a moment, gets it back. Frustal, Micah Foss now. Ball over his head, goes to Kanina Bell, open for three left side. And that is short. And Logan Paulson tracks down his seventh rebound to lead all rebounders tonight. Outlet pass Sabalik. Sabalik, bounce pass, it's kicked by Hillcrest. You know things are going your way when you can get credit for a rebound that bounces on the floor and you can grab it. Yeah, and, right. Uh, that, that's nice for your totals. Anderson will throw it in right in front of his own bench. His lob pass goes to Staples. Staples gets free of his weirs. Layup is good. 
Staples having quite a night here. As he's got 19 now, 62-27 on our Park Region scoreboard. The Knights with the lead. Kaninenbelt with it. 8.28 to play in the game. High post area to Thomas Weirs. Weirs to Foss. Foss to Gabe Preston over to Frustel. Frustel, a couple dribbles, goes right to the hoop. Blocking foul, they count the basket. And Frustel will go to the line. To get the and one, Brewster goes right to the hoop. He's got nine now. And Sabalik will pick up his fourth foul. Jacob Bright comes in, Sabalik will come out. And Fustal is much more aggressive this half in trying to make some things happen uh, on the scoring end than he was in the first half. And he probably got a little encouragement from Coach Preston that uh, we need your scoring. He makes the free throw. He's now in double figures with 10. 62 to 30 is the score. And Anderson into the front court, goes to Bright. Jacob Bright, guarded by Thomas Weirs. A couple dribbles right. Now he's open for three. Shot is no good. Thomas Weirs with the rebound for the Comets. Here comes Gabe Preston up the far side. Over to Weirs. Now Kanina Belt. Lob pass going to Frustel. He gathers. Double team, triple team. Back to Kanina Belt. Micah Foss over to Preston. Top of the key, Kanina Belt. Frustel with it. To Foss. Thomas Weirs over to Kanina Belt. Left hand drive, help comes, he retreats. Now it is Weir, 7-10 to play in the game. 62-30, West Central up big. Preston over to Kanina Belt. Over to Thomas Weirs, Foss with it. Underneath Kanina Belt, backing his way into the lane. Across it goes to Preston. Now Frustel, Michael Foss with it. Coach Hunter encouraging his team in the half court defense. Comet's showing patience. It goes inside to Frustel. There's gonna be a reach in on the Knights. And it will go to Dawson Staples, his first, team third. And people might say, well, why are they passing the ball so much? They got to score and, and whatever. But when you're down 32 with a running clock, six and a half minutes to go, it's to their credit that they're playing patient, not just playing helter-skelter and trying to work on what they want to do and what they want to execute. So, Try to get better. Yep. Yeah, yep. got to get better Absolutely. at this point. Thomas Weir's on the inbound to Preston on the far wing. Goes to Frustel. Back out to Preston. Up top, Micah Foss, 6'10 to play in the game. Foss over to Thomas Weirs. Up top, Preston, left wing, Frustel. He's open for three, high arcing three off the heel. Hit by his Weirs, but he's going to be called for over the back, trying to get over Logan Paulson. Thomas Weirs picks up his fourth. 17 foul, that'll put the Knights in the bonus. We do have a running clock as well here now with the point differential. So the clock continues as Paulson will go to the line to shoot the bonus. And Hillcrest for the evening has just one made three-pointer, which uh, they need a few more in that total in order to be to be competitive here. And uh, one uh, one for for a few, I guess. Paulson's free throw is good. He's now in double figures with ten. Second one in the air. That's off the front of the rim, no good. And Thomas Weirs hauls in the rebound for Hillcrest. Hands it off to Gabe Preston. 5-10 to play in the game. 63-30, West Central leads. Backdoor cut, Kanina Belt. The help comes with Kanina Belt gathers and banks it home. Continues a nice ball game that he's had. He's uh, carried up on, off on the offensive end, and of course he's such a good athlete. He flies around the court, up and down, and uh, makes him hard to guard. He leads Hillcrest with 14, Knights with the ball. Staples has it up top. The right side it goes to Kay. It's Bright, Kay, Staples, Paulson, and Nadwick on the floor for West Central area. Logan Paulson in the corner, Staples with it. Comes over to Jacob Bright. Bright, now there's gonna be a away from the ball call on Nadwick. They're gonna call him on the push off. So Nadwick will pick up the foul. Only the fifth turnover for West Central Area tonight. Two of them have been from fouls on the offensive end. So a number of substitutions I'm not going to be able to hang with right away. Tegan Moritz into the game for the first time for the Knights. And Wutzke is back in. Nick Foss is in for the Comets. Preston drives, kicks it back out to tonight. About Zach Zweer is also in for Hillcrest. Four-minute mark. Is where we're at, 63-32, West Central area with the lead. Gabe Preston, one dribble left, goes to Zweers in the post, double team comes. One dribble into the lane, lobs it up to his crucial, nobody home, and Wutzke gets the steal. 15th Hillcrest turnover. Up the floor they go, Morris with it, he's on the left side, just inside the arc, Nadwick. 
Into the post it goes. Watsky one dribble, goes by Fusco. Layup was good. Now they're going inside now and pretty much having their way with uh, short shots and easy attempts. Watsky with his first basket, 65-32 Knights. Frustel to the basket. There's going to be a push before the shot on the Knights. And it is going to go to Colton Watsky. That's his first, team fifth. Yeah. Wouldn't you know it, the Comets need points and they get a nice little move off the basket, uh, off the glass, and it's wiped out yep. by a foul call. Yeah, it was a sure basket if it yep. wasn't there. Gavin Paulson into the game for the first time for the Knights as Hillcrest with the ball. Under three minutes now in the game. Preston to Zwiers. Zwiers, a couple dribbles left in the lane. Spins away to Foss. Tough running 15-footer off the heel. No good. Rebound tipped by Kaninabel, but Bright is able to pick off the board, and he'll walk it into the front court. 65-32, 2.35 to go. Okay, a couple dribbles right. Guarded closely by Nick Foss. Comes over now, it's Moritz with it. Keegan Moritz dribbling to his left, guarded by Eric Kaninenbelt. Now right to left, he's gonna drive towards the baseline. Pulls up his dribble, and it's gonna be a five second count called on Moritz. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Six turnover for the Knights. That's been a big part of the game, too. They've taken care of the basketball. Uh, that's been huge, the turnover difference, as you mentioned earlier. Preston with it for Hillcrest. Over to Nick Foss. Bounce pass into the post. Weirs. There's going to be a push call on Gavin Paulson. Knights are going to make some substitutions. Well, enjoy the great taste of bottled water without the hassle of going to the store to get it. Call Culligan Water Conditioning in Elbow Lake and Fergus Falls about Culligan Bottled Water Delivery. Better water, pure and simple, that's Culligan. Grant Buchan's into the game for the Knights. We'll try catch up with all these here. Blake Koloski is also in, along with Bennett Grove. And uh, Frustel comes out, and back in the game is Joel Quam for Hillcrest. On the drive, Preston goes to Zwier to the basket. Some contact there. They're going to call a block on the Knights. And that foul is going to go to Gavin Paulson. That'll be his second. 1.10 to go as the clock continues to run. You know, you talk about uh, the turnovers, Jason. The, the Knights have six turnovers. And of those three tur uh, turnovers that have been of the typical turnover variety, the others, one, a five-second count we just saw, and the other two have been offensive fouls. That have been yep, called. Yep. So only three traditional turnovers. Three throw by Zwiers off the front of the rim, no good. There's a whistle here. I think they got the Knights were in early, so we get another shot of it. Malcolm Cabanis into the game. You had a former player relative in. Yeah. Raphael, Malcolm's brother, played for me at, at MC as well, too. So fun to see some of those uh, connections. Second free throw, no good by Zwiers. And the rebound went to Paul, Gavin Paulson, and the pass to Paulson tipped off his hands and out of bounds. 23 seconds to go, 65-32. West Central area leading Hillcrest. Bounce pass goes to Sal, who's now into the game. Over to Quam. Go Quam to Sal. Right by Cavanis. Now Foss loses it for a moment, picks it up. Seven seconds to play. Foss bounces into his weirds. One dribble goes up, banks it home. And that should do it with two seconds to go. Cavanis will let it launch from half court. That is it, and quite a performance here tonight by the West Central Area Knights as they defeat the Hillcrest Comets 65 to 34 on our Park Region service beyond the connection scoreboard. We'll take a break. We'll come back with a recap of the game in just a moment. We'll have some numbers, and then later on in the post-game show, we will name our quality player of the game, sponsored by Quality Toyota and Lake Country Graphics. Final score, West Central Area improves to nine and six on the year. They defeat Hillcrest, who falls to 6-5. and five. Final score, 65-34. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with a post-game show in two minutes.